Let's just see where these guys are at. Back down. Hey, where'd you guys all go? Fuck! Did I miss you or something? Oh, fuck. Podheads. Must have went for their afternoon siesta. Well, no problem. We'll just have a look at what's been accomplished. So hopefully you guys gave Krusty Clark uh, hard copies of what I sent electronically and put on their wind through their windows and their Macs. And uh... <laughs> we'll we'll get back to you later, old bud. Old buddy, and I'm sure you all know what that means, eh? The rider on the white horse. Okay, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this. This video is getting too long. So, anywho, the Sensible BC team was um, basically uh, meeting up with uh, the Legislative Assembly for the opening session. And, well, presenting whatever they uh, felt were uh, the... Issues behind the Sensible BC Initiative Act, as per the Act's uh, wording. I mean, you gotta show up and present <laughs> to get it on the uh, assembly's, uh, the legislative assembly's um, docket. You have to introduce it into the mandate. Uh, you know, Section Thirty-Three of the uh, Charter of 
Canadian and Canada Charter of Rights and Freedoms, notwithstanding clause, which is, you know, provincial and federal veto. Uh, if somebody tries to schling a law that's uh, not to your liking, you veto it. So, in fact, the sections of the uh, Harper Omni Crime Bill, sorry, you'll have to, I'll, I'll put the links there, or somebody will put them down there in the comments, to the actual final Hansword writing, re, uh, wording of the, whatever became of the Omni Crime Act that basically pushed all the medicinal marijuana users, all the recreational cannabis users to the back of the fucking bus. Where not even Rosa Park would 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 sit by what, the nineteen sixties? But you know, that's all small potatoes. We're just sacrificial lambs to the uh, altar of privatized prison complex for Harper's globalist uh, agenda to uh well basically have a entirely privatized perception of public peace and security complex and um and um uh, um uh, and 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 um, and um, uh, well, you know, get rid of everything. RCMP, municipal police, um, Department of National Defense. Oh, do we even have one anymore? I guess, I guess, the army is still technically under that corporation's guide. However, we all know that Harper gave the Queen um, basically our Air Force and our Navy to escape the uh, as a lame corporate trick which would not escape anything. Uh, but obviously his intentions was to escape the, uh, the uh, strict liability, the war reparations that will come out of Libya. Uh, that don't ask me what his wishful, magical, masonically delicious thinking is that somehow or another him and his cronies could escape the charges that I dismissed the last federal cabinet with. Uh, you know, at the time Fukushima was blowing up and our civil defense uh, radiation detection network was getting shut off from the west coast all the way to Yorkton, Saskatchewan and blah blah blah. You all know it. Especially if you've been reading my stuff, because how many times have I put it on in uh, proper legal, lawful terms? And what? The Secchi contractors for uh, for the Harper from offshore internet operations hacked, changed, blocked, and uh, committed every form of malfeasance, crime, uh, vandalism, fraud... Criminal harassment against me, my channel, my dogs, and, well, all the people in our community. Viewers, commenters, fellow data posters, although, you know, we're not really counting the <clears throat> copyright infringers that try and monetize their, their plagiarisms. So, anyhow, let's just make this real quick here. Oh, they removed a lot already. They shut my... Every time one of the uh, data loggers uh, that are criminally breaking into my computer and my, uh, my feed, uh, every time they log out to go circle jerk or go suck the boss's cock or uh, go have a bummy with the guy in the next cubicle over or or whatever and log out they shut my my Google off I presume by clicking the red X and they forget to log out of their data logger so my Google shuts off and you know all my uploads get all fucked up and whatever I'm doing gets fucked up and wasted and, and quite often when I come back on I'll find oh okay so at the end of their uh, 
at the end of their uh, crime spree, uh, invading and raping my computer. They've changed and altered this data. They've deleted that data. They've thrown in this and that file. Who knows what they are? I'm sure there are things that they'll use to frame me up when it suits their criminal globalist Zionist crime spree ends. Oh, see, look, see, see, we had a can of bus. Well, can of van, see, 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 all the way from Kelowna. So the Okanagan Valley, Krusty Clark's uh, writing was represented. And I'm going to assume I had requested all kinds of uh, electronic fees if I had to go do my thing after I did my delivery, document deliveries. And, uh, well, I'm sure it never reached any of the deaf ears like Pot TV or Cannabis uh, Canada magazine that could actually do a uh, on-site uh, Google Hangout or whatever the fuck. Uh, uh, face punch uh, chat or I'm sure they'll get it eventually but like I said you know like like I just rattled on about eh? oh let's have a look at this oh, we'll finish first well hopefully you guys didn't trip over any um false flag pressure cooker bombs that Kraft Inc. or Blackwater Inc. or whoever teamed up with, I don't know, Seki and CSIS and RCMP and Victoria Police like on Last Canada Day and, you know, frame some poor fucking drug addict up uh, and some prostitute that you're, what, holding her child ransom if they don't, you know, deliver your pressure cooker to the legislative ground so hopefully we <clears throat> pre-told it like it was and like it could be again and hopefully none of this bullshit with my tax dollar was wasted on false flagging to bring in the harper's uh, privatized prison complex and uh, approval for the next stage the uh, perception of public harper's perception of public Peace and security complex. Because, well, I mean, these people have only a guilty mind where their conscience should be able to swing into their imagination, so they stick by the book as as they're ordered by their masters and their handlers and whatnot. And Stephen Harper is as borged as any of them. Although, once in a while, they'll send down the, 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 the newer versions of them. And... <sighs> oh, what's that? What does that say? Hmm. Okay, it's busy, so I, I have to apologize. I wanted to bring it down for its second inaugural visit, but, you know, it hadn't even finished its Canada tour, let alone its, um, Pan-American tour upon actually being able to drive the Durian Gap in Panama. But, well, perhaps another day, and if not me, well, then my replacements will complete my work. So, we obviously had lots and lots of participation. A lot of people worked very hard to play along with this fiat initiative and recall legislation that that filthy swine Zlanders lamb brought in. You'll forgive me if you actually... I can't imagine you surviving your conscience starting to work, but... I have a memory of what you did to BC. You and your fucking privatization. You were you were the leading Zionist ed, the uh, global Zionist edge into Canada. And then you brought in the worst scum from Asia. And you know allowed their token slaves, the odd one, to come through to so they could be used here and 
have nothing but a <coughs> taste of shit and usury in their mouth that they thought they were spitting out when they came over. But no, they were just going to get used and actually used against the Canadian people rather than, you know, Ah, oh, welcome to Canada. You're Canadian now, eh? Do your thing. Be free. Make make lawful use of your freedom. Show your relatives back home what they need to do there. Try not to rape the land or the or the or the culture or the people. If you decide, well, it's not for you, and you'll just take your booty and run. You know, because that was the Canadian way. You know, before pieces of global Zionist, murderous, sociopathic scam and bastards like the Harper. Uh, well, okay, he never actually ran, won the election. I mean, his majority consists of 18%, uh, well, 18.9%, perhaps as high as 18.9% of the potential voting pool of all Canadians that could vote if there was actually something besides a Hegelian dialectic to choose from. Ah, okay, I know what you're saying, but, but the NDP finally had their day, but, you know, I don't know. Um, if I'm to loosely interpret the communications I was having right at the time that um, Mr. S New Kind of Strong, uh, Jack Layton in capital letters, uh, you know, the conversation we were having when he killed over, I'm, I can only loosely interpret the data that, well, actually that all, that computer got tasered uh, at work by some MI6 agent um, that came into Oliver car and truck and, well, tased my fucking Hewlett Packard computer, so, and, well, the way it worked out is, I don't know, Staples ended up with the hard drive, I told the kid to hang on to it, it was that or do without the warranty, so, not quite realizing what had transpired. I thought it was just, well, you know, maybe it's errant signals, but no, I've recognized that before, that there was a positron uh, discharge going off whilst I was talking to Jack Layton, and he apparently kicked over at that moment of a heart attack, so I don't know. Maybe they were just... I mean, maybe it was errant space weather coming down its line. I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe, uh... Maybe it was just Robocaller and his chums, um, you know, hacking EFM frequencies uh, over the speakers on his computer and, and my computer and, and uh, you know, turning it into a microwave cannon, basically, uh, later. Because, well, they can do that. If you got Wi-Fi, uh, if you got a certain kind of sound system... Well, really, I mean, if you've got a touch screen, if you've got uh, poor EMF shielding on your computer, well, it's a pretty small thing to do. Especially, you know, the economics of scale, right? The software may cost millions of dollars to develop in some lab in Israel, uh, but once it's in the hand of NSA contractor sock puppets, well, anything goes, right? I mean, it doesn't cost... You know, what are you paying them, 50 bucks an hour to do their crimes? Uh, you know, what does it take? 30 seconds for them to send out uh, this um, Stuxnet Plus microwave cannon program or whatever the fuck you call it? I don't know. I'm sure you guys want to come forward and ratchet bosses and handlers out now that you know what you did before they track you down and, you know, disappear you and because all your evidence is submitted you can't what's done on the internet stays on the internet I mean basically you you, you get your tracks not even an EMP, EMP bomb would destroy everything alrighty this, this is enough I don't need to bore you guys anymore uh, oh, 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 let's refresh it. I wanted to capture this before all of it disappeared. 
I was getting hacked. I mean, try and put Google locations, uh, a hyperlink on any of my things, like the March on Google, which is not a violent threat or a criminal inciting riots or anything. All that means is, hey, partners, hey, data investors, cybernetically get the fuck down there or, you know, if it's convenient, stop and have a look and express to the to our, our, our employees basically, well, you know, what what fucking gives? Here's my problem. How, how does this keep happening? What can we do to shore you up and, and, and save our uh, capstone of the fucking internet of the, uh, of the intergalactic data cha- exchange? Uh, or, pardon me, you guys only get galactic data exchange because you're such fucking killers. Um, mindless killers at that. You know, well, what can we do to, 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 to basically preserve the, the feeble, fragile beta test of, of our application to join the Galactic Data Exchange, or if you prefer the uh, common, oops, I was going to refresh this, common creative communication cooperative, or common communication cooperative for short. I'll put the link right there. Oh, hang on. Let's let's do this nice. Right. Right there. It's a creative common communication cooperative. So, did anything change? No. Here's one report from Fred Fred Flores. Fantastic energy. I couldn't... Sorry, guys, I couldn't stick around. I had much, much, much greater obligations. That would be much more effective use of my time. And, um, well, basically, as soon as all the legislators got into their offices, I can't be around that filth uh, under most circumstances. You know, maybe if I have a bunch of uh, herb to smoke, I might have enough calmness and disorientation that well what is it Highlander used to say fuck what occurs to know the minds and the hearts of men when you live in piggery basically you know and I'm sorry but that building is full of people that probably don't even belong on the B-Arc they're I mean, BC politics has always been a uh, filthy Mason Al Qaeda kind of thing. Al Qaeda being open toilet bowl. Uh, 